Today, leaders and employees are working more collaboratively than ever before. Not just inside companies, but also with customers, governments, schools and universities. Global virtual teams are the norm, not the exception. Socials, applications, video conferencing platforms and other technologies create a new forms of collaboration that would have been impossible a short while ago. The world has become much more interconnected and if executives don't know how to manage those connections, they will be left behind. Leaders today must be able to provide ideas, people and resources from across boundaries of all kinds. That requires reinventing their talent strategies and building strong connections both inside and outside their organizations. To get all the different players to work together effectively, they also need to know when to exercise influence rather than authority, to move things forward and stop unproductive discussions. Differences in opinions, cultural values and operating norms inevitably add complexity to collaborative efforts, but they also make them more prosperous, more innovative and more valuable. Getting that value is the heart of collaborative leadership. As leaders, it is important to understand that when you put together a group of people who are aligned, communicative and committed to the tasks, you can achieve absolutely anything. That's why it is so important that leaders not only lead by example, but build habits intrinsically and within the team that promotes a collaborative culture. Understanding collaboration means understanding the factors that make an impact of the productivity and culture of your team. So take the, take the time to consider some leadership habits to incorporate into your, your management style. Be more available, get time and advise your employees, communicate with them openly and honestly, set expectations, make recognition a priority, announce the achievement of the company and of the team, Create a talk and listen culture. Encourage people to talk. Make your employees comfortable enough where they can share their ideas with the team without any fear. Encourage them to listen. Don't provide all the answers. Listen to your team and their ideas. Make a team morale your priority. A place with a high morale helps individuals feel satisfied and creates a more encouraging environment for people to socialize and positively discuss work in terms of collaboration. So in the end, empower your team and make your team shine.